Hey guys, a warm welcome back to the channel. We're back on the Stradale Spider build today, and this thing is really starting to take shape. As a recap, we've done everything on this one so far. We've rewired it, we've transplanted the engine, we've put carbon ceramic brakes in it, all the suspension, it's a full rebuild. But today, we're gonna really transform it. We're changing the color from Rosso Corsa to Rosso Scuderia, complete with factory racing stripe. Now, let me show you just how different that is compared to my bag of nails Stradale build. So we're going to be doing a complete colour change on the Spider. so let me show you on my car what that entails everything is going to be stripped off the car that's lights doors off engine off all the rubbers off this is not going to be any shortcuts and at the same time we're going to be adding the factory racing stripe now you can see mine it's really really uh, weathered badly we're going to be changing that later on in the year but if you look at the edges you can feel the edges on mine <laughs> look how bad that is but the key thing with the factory stripe is that there is no edge it's underneath the lacquer now contrary to popular belief everyone thought it was a painted on stripe it was i think at the time a three thousand four thousand pound option nowadays they're even more expensive but it was in fact a sticker now i'm going to show you the factory workshop manual to prove the fact that this is not painted it's a sticker and the way they apply it is they put the they spray the car they put the sticker down and then they lacquer over the top to the point where there is no edge that is just one of the things we're going to be doing today check this out So the transformation is almost ready. Next, we're gonna strip off all the doors, rubber trims, headlights, bonnets, and anything else that would keep this car from looking like it came from the factory in Rosso Scuderia. First though, before we do that, I need my dent guy, Chris, to remove any of the imperfections in that body so we avoid using masses of body filler. Then it's time to hand over to the guys at Character Rear to do what they do best. Prep that car, making it perfect, ready for paint. Now Ferrari did a fantastic job when they wrote the workshop manual for the Challenge Stradale and it goes into great detail. And right at the very end of the manual, it tells us specifically how to paint the car. Now the bit we are looking for is how to apply the trickle or adhesive stripe. Yes, that's right, it was a sticker. Uh, unlike popular belief, it was not painted on. When the Ferrari 430 Scuderia came out, that was actually painted. But prior to that, the Stradale was just a plain old sticker. A very expensive one at £3,100 option. At the time, seemed very expensive. Uh, comparison to today's Pista prices for a stripe, it seems like a bargain. Anyway, it tells us how we need to uh, apply it. Uh, the gaps and everything we need to leave, for example, at the front here, 15 mil overlap. No spider ever left the factory with one of these stripes. So this is going to be a first. Not only that, no spider, to my knowledge, was ever painted in Rosso Scuderia. So again, we are creating something here that is very, very unique. And we are going to follow this process to the T. Straight into the booth is our first batch of panels. They've already been sprayed Rosso Scooter rear. We've applied the stripe and now we are just giving it that final coat of lacquer to make these things absolutely pop. Now a big part of my build process is often tracking down rare parts that are in most cases no longer available from Ferrari. I look around the world, but I found that you don't always get to see everything that's available because you're in a different country. However, with today's video sponsor Surfshock and one simple little click, it opens up a whole world of possibilities. Let me show you exactly how it's really helped me out on my builds. Take these carbon ceramic brakes, for example, for the Stradale. Now, I've been after a set of these for a while. I've picked these up from eBay in Germany. However, 
they were never appearing on any listing from here in the UK, even if I went directly onto the eBay.de, the German website. It wasn't until I used Surfshark, ping my VPN via the Munich server, it opened up a whole new load of listings that otherwise I never knew were there. So I picked these up for an absolute bargain. And this is the same from anywhere around the world. If you're in the US, you cannot see all of the listings here in the UK unless you use the VPN. So by using Surfshark, not only do I get the protection and security on all my data and devices, I also get to save money and find deals on bargains around the world that I otherwise would never have known existed. But the best bargain by far is by using my link in the description below the video. You're gonna save a whopping 83% off, plus three months extra free, and there's a money back guarantee, so it's an absolute no brainer. That, my friends, is the equivalent of about three years worth of Surfshark for one of these Ferrari titanium wheel bolts. Anyway guys, gotta say a huge thanks to Surfshark for continuing to support the Rattarossa channel. Make sure you head over to Surfshark, check those out while I get back to the build. Okay, so it's had a little time to dry. Let's have a look inside. Let's see how this is coming out. different to the Rosso Corsa but then when we put the uh, another panel against this you can really see the difference and I will show you later on uh, we've got one of the headlights the headlights have all been done here as well and it looks just I love this color it is so much nicer than Rosso Corsa such a, so much more vibrant anyway I'm gonna leave this uh, to dry we're gonna crack on with some other bits. Well guys, here you go. It's ready. It's gonna get his coat of Rosso Scooter in. The car is fully stripped. The body is gonna start to come together. This is the point where the car really, really starts to look good. is going to be spraying the car I'm gonna to have to get out of here because I don't have any protective gear so I'm gonna leave you in the capable hands of the master let's see how it's done
So after several coats of lacquer, the car is then sanded back and polished to a mirror finish. That is all the body and all of those individual parts. It takes a lot of time, but it is really worth it for the end result. And there you go guys, that is the stripe all finished. And as you can see, there is not a single sign of a ridge there. It looks absolutely perfect. It looks like it was painted. I guess that is the idea that Ferrari had in mind when they applied the sticker at factory and lacquered over the top. Next job is the headlights. Now, as you saw in the previous video, we took our time trying to get this apart. Now, there are sealed units. They're not meant to come apart, but we have resprayed this one in Rosso Scuderia. It is looking beautiful, but we're not finished yet. I've just spent a lot of time putting in all of the lenses. Uh, we've resealed around here. It's all been polished. The last thing is the glass lens or the plastic lens needs to go back on but in order to do that we need to seal it back in place correctly we've spent a lot of time researching and this is exactly the same color same stuff that was used at factory and what we need to do now is place it around here the lens then pops in place we heat it up gently and seal it all. <laughs> we want our battery. <laughs> all right. No good for the video, is it? Yeah. never been touched before <laughs> and there you go guys that is how it's done it's like new <laughs> amazing job absolutely blown away scary fantastic so I've offered the headlights up there in place now. Now that was a very scary part of the build. Stripping these apart, rebuilding them. Any single stage of that that went wrong meant starting again and meant doing exactly the same process with a light because the Rosso Scuderia headlights are just not available. So last job is I need to just line up this rubber kind of seal around the outside. Once that's done, we'll bolt it in place next job is just as tricky we need to get the roof mech in the car without scratching any paintwork for that we're going to need some muscle Next job is all the screens around here. We're gradually building the car up and then the final thing we're gonna be doing, I'm gonna get all the stuff done on the interior of the car. Therefore, I'm not stepping in and out and damaging the freshly painted floor. Then we're gonna paint the floor afterwards. So we're gonna take our trim here, 
fix it all back in place and uh, start getting this car back together. Okay, roof is in, back bumper is in position, it's not bolted up. Put all the grills on, all the under trays, it's really starting to look good and take shape now. I've even bolted on the rear engine lid here. Check this out, we put the light in, a little bit dusty. We haven't actually polished this one down yet at the moment, but uh, we're just fitting it all up. There's a lot of adjustment, it's probably gonna be quite a few hours of adjustment. I've just put this, carbon fiber engine panel in place just so you get an idea we're going to also be sanding down i've just uh, done a little test here on the air boxes as you can see and i think i pointed out in one of the first videos these are really quite milky so there's only one way to get to these it's right down you have to get cut it right down to uh, below the lacquer and then uh, polish them out re-lacquer them and uh, make them good as you can see though once that is done this is going to look absolutely fantastic in here so engine lid is not all lined up at the moment but you get an idea here we've got the lock on by the way that's the uh, noise there badge going in there again absolutely no lip but check this out here is my other carbon fiber piece Just rest that in place for now. How good does that look? Really, really, really starting to uh, look amazing. We've also bolted the door on on the side here. Again, we put some protective tape here because I need to adjust all of the gaps. Put the lock in, door handles all in. Started putting the rubber on. All of this is in place, even the lights in place now. And the last kind of thing we need to do is just align all that before we put all the panel in place here. Over on the right, we've got the side skirt on. Really starts to uh, make the car look mean and give it its stance. Door is on. Start putting the handle in. Again, we need to adjust all the door uh, just to get the gaps all correct. Then things like the door lock there. The other side took me about two hours to get in. It's so fiddly. We've got to put all the uh, latch in here. Lights on. You can see. Seal pieces in as well. And then... Uh, it's just little jobs here it's all going to be adjusting but everything else is really starting to look great here again we need to do the light on this side you can see it's starting to look good yep yeah. yeah. fresh yeah. we're gonna just fit this just to see how it looks ready yep yeah. this up okay That. let's have a little check that out wow well guys there you go the challenge for Lolly spider project is really starting to take shape now you can get a grasp of how good this thing is looking and it's going to come together really nicely let me know your thoughts so what do you think rosso scooter here does it work on the car with the stripe all the carbon bits and obviously the challenge for Lolly body kit personally i love it but let me know what you think Anyway guys, I'm going to carry on. I've got a lot of panels here to line up. A lot of little jobs to do that take a long, long time. I'll see you very shortly in the next one. Don't forget, you can check out what I get up to on a daily basis over on my Instagram. Until then, ciao for now.